and welcome to another edition of the Open Minds Update. I'm your host, Maureen Ellsbury. Another deadly Dorito UFO has been sighted in Yorkshire, England. An amateur cameraman shot this video on March 26th and uploaded the video to YouTube on the 27th. You can hear the person as he was shooting the video. I don't know what it is. Maybe I knew it for. It doesn't seem to be emitting any sound. We've enlarged the video and put some high contrast filters over it so we could get a better look. When we freeze frame the shot and analyze it, we see that it's triangular in shape with a circular gray colored object on the bottom. The object is behind the trees and any evidence of CGI work cannot be found at this time. This type of UFO has been seen occasionally in the area since 2007. The Ministry of Defense repeatedly dismisses the object as a supernormal atmospheric plasma phenomenon. It certainly does look like a supernormal atmospheric plasma phenomenon. A new book surrounding the alleged Heart Canyon UFO crash is being released April 16th. The book is written by Scott and Suzanne Ramsey and is an accumulation of 25 years of research, reviewing more than 55,000 documents and interviewing eyewitnesses in 27 states. Focusing on hard facts and documented research instead of wild theories will be the theme. Frank Thayer, journalism professor at New Mexico State University and a major contributor to the book, believes this is the best book yet written on the subject, and he predicts the impact will be significant. You can read an excerpt and place an order at theaztecincident.com. Last week, Open Minds' Jason McClellan reported on the opening of the new Area 51 exhibit at the Atomic Testing Museum in Las Vegas. This week, the Huffington Post Lee Spiegel posted a new article about a piece of alleged Russian UFO debris on display at the exhibit. On January 29, 1986, an unusual red-colored sphere flew over the Soviet sky and crashed near the small mining town of Dolnogorsk. Samples were collected and later analyzed by several Russian scientific institutes and found to have bizarre qualities including deflection of radar, new elements that appear after heating, and a core composed of a substance containing anti-gravitational properties. Las Vegas reporter George Knapp was the first American journalist to travel to the UFO crash site in the 1990s, and he was given samples of the debris. The debris sits in vials housed under a clear display cover and is available for all to see at the Atomic Testing Museum. More stories like these, as well as all the latest news and information, are available on our website at openminds.tv, and we welcome your comments here on YouTube. That's all for this edition of the Open Minds Update. I'm Maureen Ellsbury. Thanks for watching.